Forget the debates. It's Biden versus Trump in Fortnite. Who's building the wall and who's stuck in the storm? Thanks for the intro. Obama, now jog on. We got Fortnite to play. Anyway, Joe, you hear about Fortnite? They're finally bringing it back to iOS in Europe. Tremendous news, right? I've always said Fortnite on iOS was one of the best deals. I don't know what took them so long to bring it back, but clearly they needed me to tell them to make that move. I mean, who's playing Fortnite on an Android? Nobody. Sad. Fortnite back on iOS, huh? Good for them. I never really understood why it went away in the first place. Something about Apple fees. All I know is if I'd been in charge, I would have just walked up to Tim Apple, uh, I mean Tim Cook, and said, Tim, let the kids play. Boom, Fortnite back overnight. But hey, good thing it's back, because I'm telling you, Donnie, I'm nasty with a sniper rifle in that game. Dropped a 15 kill solo the other day. 15 kills, Joe, I've seen your aim. You're more like the guy who accidentally drops from the battle bus early and gets stuck in a tree. I'm the sniper king in Fortnite. Tremendous accuracy. You ever hear of 90s, Joe? My builds are second to none. I'd have those 12 year olds building walls in seconds. Much better than the ones I tried to build, believe me. You building walls in Fortnite? I doubt it. You'd be stuck in creative mode trying to figure out how to put a door on your ramp. Meanwhile, I'd be out there winning victory royales. And speaking of Fortnite, did you see they added Shaq as a skin? Guy's already like seven feet tall. In Fortnite, he's gotta be at least 10 stories high. Could you imagine hiding behind a bush with a Shaq skin? He's practically his own building. Shaq in Fortnite, tremendous addition. I love Shaq, great guy. But yeah, no hiding for him. He'd just walk right into Tilted Towers and start slam dunking people. I mean, who needs a pickaxe when you got Shaq's size? He'd just slap down builds with his pinky finger. But the real news, Joe, is I'm waiting for my skin in Fortnite. Can you imagine it? The Trump Tower skin, gold, shiny, the best looking skin they've ever had. I'd have a custom emote too. Maybe something like me standing on stage giving the best speech, it'd be huge. Oh yeah, what's the emote gonna be? You giving the longest speech in Fortnite history while the storm rolls in and you don't even notice? I'd pay five bucks for that, Donnie. I really would, but listen, I gotta say, my skin in Fortnite would be legendary. I'd be rocking aviators. Maybe a jacket with an ice cream cone on the back. Emote, easy. Me sitting down, eating a big scoop of Rocky Road. No stress while the storm closes in. Total zen. Zen, Joe and Fortnite, you gotta move, not sit around eating ice cream. This is Battle Royale, not Ben and Jerry's, the game. And speaking of emotes, I'd have the best dance. Imagine this, Trump doing the orange justice, but better, it'd be called tremendous justice. They'd have kids doing it all over the world, schools, playgrounds, family gatherings, everyone doing the tremendous justice. They'd love it. You dancing? Now that's something I gotta see. You'd probably trip over your own feet trying to do it. But hey, we're both missing the real opportunity here, Donnie. The real move is getting the White House in Fortnite. That's right, as a landing spot. It'd be a hot drop, like tilted towers, but with secret service agents running around. Plus, there could be hidden bunkers, maybe a helicopter. You drop in, raid the Oval Office, and bam, legendary loot. What do you think? White House is a landing spot, genius, Joe but they'd have to make my office the safest spot on the map. Tremendous loot, gold scar, and obviously lots of chests. Best chests, the kind nobody's ever seen. And I wouldn't need secret service in Fortnite, Joe. I'd protect myself. Hand me a sniper and I'd take care of the lobby. Best marksman you've ever seen, believe me. Sure, Donnie, you're a regular Fortnite John Wick. But if I'm dropping into the White House, I'm going straight to the Situation Room. That's where the high tier loot is, no doubt. You grab a few stingers and maybe a jetpack. Then it's game over for the other players. And if someone tries to push, I'll just hop in the Marine One chopper and fly out of there. Fastest rotation in the game. Marine One, Joe, you'd crash that thing into the nearest tree. But I like the idea of having a presidential chopper in Fortnite. Tremendous mobility, great view. But don't forget, I'd have a Trump branded golf cart as my vehicle, fully equipped, maybe some rockets on the front. Forget the ATKs they have now. This would be the best, most luxurious ride you've ever seen in Fortnite. And it's fast, really fast. 
a golf cart. What is this, Fortnite? Country Club Edition? Next thing you know, you'll be adding golf courses as landing spots and trying to sell skins of yourself in plaid pants. Come on, Donnie. Fortnite's about action. If I'm in charge, we're adding stuff that actually makes the game fun. You know, stuff like portable ice cream trucks. Imagine healing up with an ice cream cone in the middle of a gunfight. Now that's innovation. Portable ice cream trucks. Joe, nobody's using that when they got med kits and shield potions. But okay, I'll give you that. Maybe we add a healing buff if you eat an ice cream cone and do my tremendous justice dance. It'd be huge. And speaking of innovation, did you see the latest news about Chapter 5, Season 4? They've got dinosaurs back on the map. Dinosaurs, tremendous move. You know, I've always said adding dinosaurs is the key to any good game. Dinosaurs? Oh man, that's wild. Could you imagine rolling up to tilted towers only to see a T-Rex stomping around? That's a game changer, Donnie. I'd love to ride a dinosaur in game, take it straight into a battle, guns blazing. Forget cars and boats. I'll be rolling up on a velociraptor, juking out builds and going for the dub. Riding a dinosaur, Joe, I'm way ahead of you. I'd have a custom skin with a T-Rex mount. Biggest dinosaur in the game. I'd charge right through the competition. It'd be unstoppable. And while you're out there riding your Velociraptor, I'll be rolling in with my T-Rex, clearing the map. You'd be lucky to survive one zone. Well, while you're smashing through tilted on your T-Rex, I'll be doing it smarter. I'd build high ground, snipe you from above. Easy win, just like in real life. And after I get the victory royale, I'll do a quick emote, sit back, and enjoy some rocky road. Uh, high ground, Joe, I'm always on top whether it's the battlefield or life, but all right, I'll give it to you this time. Let's just agree that when Fortnite adds our skins, it's gonna be the best season ever. Tremendous, absolutely tremendous. They'll be playing this season for years, Joe, for years. Yeah, yeah, whatever you say, Donnie. So Biden, did you see that Marvel Spider-Man 2 is dropping soon? I mean, who doesn't wanna swing around New York City and pretend they're a superhero? But I bet you'd get lost trying to navigate the city. Please, man, I've spent more time in New York than you've spent in the White House. I'd swing right past you while you're stuck in traffic complaining about the fake webs. And speaking of webs, did you hear about that whole mess with Twitter and those blue checks? Yeah, the blue check club sounds like a bunch of wannabe superheroes needing validation. Meanwhile, I'll just keep my golden check. It's worth more than your entire Twitter feed. Besides, you're probably still trying to figure out how to use the retweet button. Golden check, more like a rusty old badge, Donald. You think that'll help you when Call of Duty introduces that new gameplay mode? You'd still be camping in a corner, shouting about your wall. Meanwhile, I'd be flanking the enemy and taking the win. Flanking? What are you, some kind of military strategist now? Listen, buddy, I'd just drive a tank straight through your strategic position. I mean, what's next, a Pokemon battle? I could easily take you down with my Charizard. Fire, baby. Charizard, is that what you're counting on? You're better off with a Magikarp flopping around. Meanwhile, I'd have a full team of legendary Pokemon taking you down one by one. And don't even get me started on your lack of understanding of elemental types. Elemental types? I don't need Pokemon Go to know how to catch them all, just like I catch all the best deals. And what's this I hear about Netflix raising prices again? Just another way to fleece the average American while they're binge watching mediocre shows. Right, but let's be honest, most people are too busy watching The Crown to care about prices. You wouldn't know anything about that. Your taste is more like reality TV, overdramatic and full of bad actors. They'd probably give you the best supporting role award in that clown show you call a presidency. Bad actors? Ha, huh. more like I'd win the Oscar for best comedy. And you, you'd be the one taking the participation award for trying to watch all those old reruns of Friends. Get a life, man. Friends is classic. At least they know how to work together. And speaking of working together, have you seen all the chaos around the latest Elden Ring DLC? Apparently the bosses are harder than your hair in a windstorm. Chaos, I thrive on chaos. It's like the news cycle. But you, you'd probably get stuck fighting a boss for hours and then blame it on the game developers for not having a difficulty level for dummies. How's that for teamwork? Teamwork? You wouldn't know teamwork if it hits you over the head like a Minecraft creeper. I'd build a fortress while you're busy, trying to figure out how to place a block. You know, basic stuff. 
Yeah, but I'd build a wall, one that actually works, a fortress made of gold. People would pay to see it. Meanwhile, you'd be stuck mining for diamonds and still end up with coal. Talk about a failure to launch. Catch part two of the game soon. Subscribe so you don't miss it, otherwise I will have recreational sex with your mom.